Hey guys, Ben from Pivot and uh, just wanted to put together this video because a common question that we get asked uh, is what a typical plan looks like for one of our clients. And uh, look, I get it that, um, you know, uh, when when people start thinking about their money, they know that there's some action is needed. Um, but they don't understand, they don't know where to start. Uh, people don't understand advice and, and what sort of advice they need. If they need financial advice or do they need investment advice or is it property advice or tax advice or, uh, where the overlap is. And, uh, and the other thing is that the source of value when it comes to advice is unclear. So people don't know where, where is the, where is the value going to come from? Any services of value exchange. So it's, uh, obviously, you, you need to make sure that you, you, you're getting that value. So what I've done is I've put together this video to help you understand what people typically do when they get financial advice, or at least what the people that we work with at Pivot Wealth typically do when they get financial advice, how advice actually works and where the value is. Now, look, uh, just calling out that we measure everything. So I'm going to throw a whole bunch of numbers at you. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to crank through as quickly as I can though, to keep it nice and short. But, uh, yeah, we are sort of in the, in the details there. Uh, but it should, it should all be fairly clear. So, um, I'm just going to run through. This is probably like the last, uh, bunch of clients that we work with, uh, names change, to protect the innocent, et cetera, et cetera. But this one is Jane. Uh, Jane, was, her income was 80, about 80 K. Uh, she had cash savings like a hundred grand and was a monthly savings is actually negative. She's going backwards slightly uh, each month. She came to us with frustrations, no investment knowledge. She was overspending. And she was unclear where she was headed. She was unclear. She was uh, in her 40s, uh, unclear what sort of path she was on. So what she wanted was to build build an income stream or some income streams to um, create some financial security and, and work towards financial freedom to um, – also to drive some tax efficiencies and ultimately to work towards home ownership. So what we ended up doing for in terms of the strategy was uh, purchasing a pop property, building a share portfolio and doing some business tax planning. Uh, what that meant, uh, the, the benefits, the key benefits that she was able to get was the confidence to pull the trigger on um, – on execution, which she had a bunch of money there, but which just had, was sort of had that paralyzed by uh, by the fear of doing the wrong thing, and uh, and then an automated savings system and increased her savings considerably. I think to the tune of two and a half thousand dollars per month off the back of setting up this savings system. So. Look, we measure this uh, this thing called we call it advice alpha, which is basically the difference. We map what people are doing when they come to see us versus what they end up doing as a result of going through the planning process, and that we measure that in the increase in net asset position um, as a result of implementing the strategy. So it might be, you know, um, for this person, it's like total assets, less your total liabilities gives you net asset position. And um, the people are on a path to get to one point when they come to see us, then they do some stuff and they end up on a different path. So uh, for this client, the in year one, the the increase was six thousand dollars a month as a result of being more tax efficient, doing some investing and and uh, and buying property. And then we measure it on a twenty year period. We put it in this is present value, so today dollars terms. So in twenty years time, the amount that she's ahead just in implementing the strategies, just in our initial planning, is eight thousand dollars a month. So that's like almost a hundred thousand dollars a year. So pretty pretty uh, substantial amount of cash and. Um, needless to say, she was very happy as a, uh, in her decision to sort of go through that process. Jack and Jill, uh, these guys, they're on 412,000 combined income plus, uh, RSUs, which is restricted stock. They work for a technology company. Uh, one of them did cash, uh, 125,000 plus $250,000 in share investments. And they were saving nine and a half thousand dollars a month. So pretty strong on the saving side. Uh, look, the frustrations, frustrations were ongoing tax bills. They were both expats and not familiar with the, and not familiar with the Australian system. So they didn't know what they didn't know. Uh, what they wanted was a clear plan to buy a family home without being stretched, really. That's a core thing, and this is something that we see quite a lot, obviously talking about big numbers in Australia's capital city. So what we ended up doing was um, uh, the strategy – well, the strategy that we put in place was to purchase a home, to do a debt recycling strategy where you pay down your mortgage and build some tax-effective debt and a share portfolio at the same time, um, tax and RSU planning, so planning around the stock 
uh, options. And, and what they, we actually did was give them permission to reduce their savings. We'll uh, help them to give themselves permission to reduce their savings by $3,000 a month. Um, what that did, the, the process gave them the confidence to buy the home permission to spend and tax reduction. And we see that even after even after uh, reducing their spend, their savings by three thousand dollars a month, they were still at the end of the plan ahead by nine grand a month. Now, the year one, and and we, you know, with some of the numbers in here are good, some of them are not so good, but uh, we can see that this is negative. And the reason being is because when you buy a two million dollar home, uh, you're paying out like a hundred thousand dollars in cost, stamp duty, legals, all of that sort of stuff. So, uh, so that's why we were chewing into savings. So year one, it's the number. Of course, it's going to be negative, uh, but then it builds up over time with the strategies in place to you know hundred thousand dollars hundred eight thousand dollars a year which is pretty pretty massive uh joy and julie another lovely couple we work with uh just recently combined income three hundred and eight thousand plus restricted stock one again one of them work for a technology company uh 10 grand in cash a bunch of personal debt though um and their budget said that they were saving 1200 per month but if we're being honest they really weren't uh they weren't even hitting that so the frustrations with tax bills low savings rates missing opportunities and they felt that they were just really chasing their tail so what we did was um oh sorry what they wanted was they wanted a clear plan covering all the base is planning around starting a family and a tax reduction plan. So what the strategy ended up being, start a family two years out of the workforce in total. That was a real focus for them that they wanted to uh, they wanted to be at, uh, out of the workforce, do some tax planning, um, participate in the employee share purchase plan so to get a bit of uh, free money from the employer, uh, and they increase their saving by $2,000 a month and importantly set up a system so that they could actually hit their savings numbers that they said they were going to hit. Uh, the key benefits with the family timeout, clarity of tax plan, employee share purchase plan uplift and planning and clear planning around the tax bills to reduce that frustration, that ongoing uh, pain point of getting that that bill in the mail that didn't uh, that you weren't expecting. Monthly alpha for these guys are uh, slightly negative to the tune of a couple of hundred bucks uh, in a month in the first year, and over time only slightly positive. And the reason being that a big part of this was, you know, two full years out of the workforce, then returned to work on a part time basis for an extended period of time to spend more time with their family. And for me, that that sort of says to the point that it's not all about the numbers here. It's not. Um, uh, it's not just about the numbers. Sometimes it's about the lifestyle benefits from planning as well. Jim and Jenny, uh, these guys combined income three hundred forty thousand, a bit of cash, employer shares, saving fifteen hundred bucks a month. Their fr frustrations, though, lack of savings progress, and no investments. They wanted to build build some investments, buy an investment property, and build an investment income. What the strategy did was first build a bit of emergency fund, then invest in shares, buy an investment property, and increase their savings by three thousand dollars a month. That gave them the the process gave them a good saving system, confidence to start investing, and an overhaul in their super saved saved a truckload on their um on their super and see that the monthly alpha three thousand dollars in year one uh increasing to seven thousand dollars in today dollars terms in uh by the by year 20. james and jean uh again 350 uh k combined income plus some commission 100 grand in cash two and a half million dollar home with a with a fairly low mortgage 400 grand saving eight thousand dollars a month frustrations with massive tax bills no investment income and a bunch 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 of lazy equity in their home uh what they want to do is to put that equity to work get some build some passive income and buy property so what we ended up doing was buying purchasing two investment properties, refinancing loans and uh, and clearing their home mortgage. The benefit was building, really cranking that investment income as well as strong asset growth through the property. And their alpha, uh, pretty pretty massive as a result of just putting that equity to work, $4,000 or $5,000 a month in the first year, up to $11,000 a month um, over, the, over the plan period. Uh, next guys John and Joe here uh, combined income 180,000 shares 110 with super of 1 million 1.3 million dollar home with $450,000 mortgage saving 1200 a month these guys are a little bit older though in their 50s um, they were uncertainly the future and their ability to retire which is a clear goal for them because they were a bit older um, they also wanted and I did put it on there but they wanted to do some education pl uh, planning for their kids so uh, yeah, what what they wanted was a ten year plan to retirement um, and a funding a funding solution for the education of their kids. 
what the strategy ended up doing, there was a bit of an insurance thing um, that g- gets a bit technical, but a roll up of an insurance benefit that that was uh, that was in super, some contributions to super, cranking an investment portfolio and increase their savings by three thousand dollars a month in the shorter term. What that saved was over a hundred thousand dollar tax saving from the insurance thing and a clear and achievable retirement plan. The monthly of these guys again, it's not massive, but in tw- in the tw- in year twenty when they're eight, they're still eight hundred and forty eight dollars ahead. They are fully retired with no ongoing income. So they've managed to maintain um, their existing asset position over that period without even eating into capital and still slightly ahead. June, and I think June's our last one here, her income, $260,000, cash of 50,000, shares 110, uh, an investment property with 650,000 with a $500,000 mortgage and saving $3,400 a month. Frustration was existing advisor not delivering on their service promise, which is something that we see a little bit as well. People promise you the world and don't deliver. Um, so what she wanted to do was to maximize every opportunity available to her and to be able to travel for six months of the year every five years. What we did with the strategy uh, was review w- what was in place already, focus on building investment income and give a clear path to financial security. Uh, and what that allowed her to do was to take control of where to from here and a clear plan to allocate her surplus. In year one, um, no alpha because the strategy was not enormously uh, different, but we did focus on income so that over time that she's uh, better off to the tune of sort of $30,000 a year uh, into the future. So guys, um, look, I know that that was a bit of a whirlwind, but uh, but really the, the idea of this is to help you understand, you know, what the... Um, you know the the where pe- what people do how advice can help and where the benefits actually come from so i uh, hope you found that helpful